This is a Lucy security video for managers. Being a manager, you likely have one or more departments to run. This means a lot of employees, a lot of devices, and a lot of security vulnerabilities to keep in mind. And it's up to you to create a plan to assess weak spots in your organization, develop easy to implement and to follow security policies, and monitor for unauthorized activity. When it comes to cybersecurity, it's common knowledge that threats come from three major places, IT vulnerabilities, human negligence, and third-party relationships. Any threat to your organization's IT systems and data is considered IT risk. Such threats are loss or theft of mobile devices or company data while traveling, using unprotected or outdated systems or applications, inadequate protection of cloud storage and services, malware and social engineering attacks, lack of employee training, attacks via third parties or smart devices. To manage the various types of IT threats, the WISE manager will create a good security policy and work to implement it among staff, customers, and contractors. But technology isn't the only source of security risks. The human factor can play a much greater role when it comes to a company's cybersecurity defenses. Whether clicking on an unsolicited link or failing to safeguard passwords, people are the root cause of many successful attacks. Fortunately, promoting cybersecurity education can help companies block most threats. The greatest human-induced risk falls in these categories, opening suspicious URLs or email attachments, using easy-to-guess passwords and keeping them in plain sight, inadequate handling of sensitive data, downloading harmful files from the internet or removable devices. As a manager, you must make sure that your staff is adequately informed about their security responsibilities when it comes to handling sensitive data and using company systems. Moreover, you should create a habit of keeping a low social media profile and never speaking ill of your organization. If you always implement data safety policies in the workplace and while traveling, your employees will follow suit. Finally, don't ignore third-party risk. In recent years, cyber criminals have adeptly used vendors to gain access to highly confidential company data. The main risks involved with third parties have to do with sharing single credentials among users and devices, granting insider credentials to partners who do not follow the same cybersecurity standards, allowing joint cloud services, using devices with enabled third-party remote access and internet connection. To manage third-party risk, follow these steps. Step one, create a list of all outside providers and their security habits. Step two, evaluate each partner's security standing via security ratings or security questionnaires. Step three, tightly manage whatever access a third party has to your network. Step four, approve or reject the vendor if the risk tolerance is too high. Step five, stay vigilant for third party security gaps for the life cycle of the partnership. Making sure you receive live alerts in case an issue is detected. Being a manager is not easy, but now you know how to mitigate cybersecurity risks at your company.